hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman and Chris. And I went live earlier today by accident. I was trying to prop up the phone to do a video in the truck. And I was frustrated about a lot of things today, not not just the fact that I couldn't get my phone to 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 be where I wanted it to. But we have to come on and apologize because I did a huge no-no and I got real mad at Chris and I yelled at him. And I had I asked somebody if they saw it and they did. And she was very disappointed in my behavior. And I I too am very disappointed in my behavior. And actually when the video went off, I apologized to Chris, but y'all didn't hear that part. Um I'm gonna say that I am a Christian woman and I believe in God, but I make mistakes just like everybody else. And uh, I don't want y'all to think that our relationship is not real because it is. And it's not normal for me to treat Chris that way. Um, now, when he first met me, yeah, I mean, I was a real independent type of person, but I was 29 years old, young and pretty stupid. But the last few weeks have been really, really hard for me. Now, Tammy has, there's a lot of things going on that you guys don't see. A lot of it, you know, and then the main thing is with her mother, um, you know, having to take care of her and worry about her. And then, you know, just some things with working has been very difficult for her. Um, and one of the things that, you know, when we first met, I, you know, that I told her, I said, I'm not going to argue with her. Um, period. And, you know, if she does say something, you know, because that's the way when we met that she wanted, she would want to argue. That's the way I was yeah. raised. <laughs> and I am not going to argue uh, because anytime you say something that's, you know, in emotion or things like that, you're going to say something you regret and then you cannot take the things back that you say. Um, that's why I, if I get mad, I don't say anything because that way I don't have to worry about saying something that I regret. Um, and, you know, she's just, it's just one of those things where she just snapped at me. I've know? been doing that to everybody, not yeah, just it's Chris. Yeah, been with the kids. I've and, been doing it. I yeah, have it's like to, this. Yeah, you know, some of my family, Chris, my kids. Um, and does it mean I'm a horrible person? Maybe, I guess, sometimes. You know, and I've told y'all there's nothing good about me, but Jesus living inside of me. But there's so many things. I mean, when I first started Real Southern Woman, there were a few times when I felt like maybe I shouldn't do the personal side of me. Um, because of things like this, this is the first time that anything's ever went live and of all times was today that it was really bad, okay? Normally, it's quiet in the truck. We're fine. We're happy. This is not how we normally act. Now, me, lately, yes. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell y'all, Chris, I didn't need to. I didn't have to, but I have been on an antidepressant since I got cancer. And it did make a huge difference in my life and how I felt. And I felt good and bubbly and all that kind of stuff. And it helped me be more even, you know, and not be so emotional. And because I am also uh, menopausal. And so it kept me, I noticed yelling at the kids and, and the Chris and the kids a lot once I lost my period. And so when I went to the doctor, she was like, matter of fact, it was after cancer because it wasn't until I reached menopause that they put me on an antidepressant. Well, a few weeks ago, I had been acting up and and I didn't really know why. I just thought it was because of mama mostly. And I looked at my medicine and I realized that I had not taken my antidepressant the full week. And since I hadn't taken it in a full week, um, I told my husband that maybe I didn't need it anymore. 
and I was going to just try to quit taking it. And so, of course, that hasn't helped uh, because really and truly since I quit taking that is when I started really being pretty mean. Don't you think? It's been over the last three weeks. Yeah. It's been about three weeks, and I've yelled at Chris. I've yelled at the kids. Um, I've raised, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to take them, and I know that some of y'all believe that God can do anything, and he can. I'm not saying that he can, but sometimes medications do help us. And of all times for me to quit taking it, it's when my mother was, you know, not doing good, and she's about to pass away. And we got other personal, not many personal things, but a few personal things. But y'all have no idea what we do every day. It is crazy how much is on my plate. And I've been wanting to do a video for, gosh, for a while. And we'll get ready to do the video and then something will happen. Like the kids come in at lunch or I had a daughter's appointment today. Um, I do work for my brother um, that I've had to work on. I, I work almost every day doing stuff like that. I have to help with my mama. Um, and I have teenagers, you know, that have, there's a lot going on. And so, and I'm not as fast as I used to be. Like, I used to get a lot done when I was a young woman. I could sit down, pay the bills, clean the house, and organize something all in one day. And, and yesterday, I paid bills. It took me all day just to do our paperwork. And that doesn't have anything to do with Colored Valley Cooks. It just took all day. I'm not as sharp and um, quick as I used to be. So then I get behind. And this morning, uh, we didn't even realize that I had the doctor's appointment until 1130. And the appointment was at 1. And I canceled it. It was my rheumatologist. I'm doing so much better uh, pain-wise that there was really no reason to see him. He doesn't prescribe me any medication anymore. And so, um, Margaret, you know, I think it was Margaret, wasn't it, that sent us the message. Um, I was afraid everybody's seen the video. And I, of course, took it off. Um, and all I can say is we're real. And if you if you want to watch us, watch us. And if you don't, don't. You know, um, if you've never yelled at somebody, then bless your bless your heart. <laughs> and even if I do a Bible study, it doesn't mean I I can't make mistakes. Um, everybody has bad days, and everybody has times in their life when they're going through more stress than others. It just happens to be my time. And what y'all don't realize is. When I first started Collard Valley Cooks, it was just fun, and I was just cooking for y'all, and it was that simple. I was just cooking, you know, and then I wanted to turn it into more personal and a Bible study, and 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 now I'm wanting to do like cake lessons, and Chris is doing stuff, and and we're, we're just right now on a normal schedule. It wouldn't be too much for me. But right now, it's just too much for me. I wanted to come on this morning just to show you some new stuff that I bought that looks really pretty on me. Uh, it was skin stuff. And so, it, I had no intentions of it turning into something like this. But y'all just need to understand that I am Tammy. And I'm not perfect. And yes, I yelled at my husband. And I actually apologized once y'all didn't hear that part. And I, I didn't feel good about it. And I neither one felt good about it. And I know I have been on edge. And I know I have not been nice to him and the kids. And so, I mean, when I go to my doctor's appointment this week, I'll tell her and see what she thinks. If she thinks I should keep just, you know, trying to keep going without the medication and just, you know, calm down a little bit. It's easy to say calm down a little bit, but it's different when you're the one in the position. So, um, I don't know what else to say to y'all besides I love my husband very much and he never yells at me. And um, does it mean he's a lot sweeter than me? Heck yeah, he is. Way sweeter. Way, way sweeter. 
Um, he was raised a lot different than I was, too. But anyway, I don't know what else to say. And we prayed about it. Chris prayed before we came on. And uh, I don't know. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I mean, she's, you know, that's one of the things. People do stuff, and all you can do is ask forgiveness and move on. If you're a Christian, you forgive them. And if you're not, you know. You hold grudges. You can hold a grudge. Or you can be a Christian and hold a grudge. It doesn't matter. Yeah, a lot of Christians do hold grudges. But if you heard it, uh, you probably either, you probably have done a lot worse yourself yourself i mean it wasn't really that bad she makes it sound like she was sitting there screaming at me for five I, minutes it was bad but I she did. said something one time you know and just jumped all over me for something and what y'all don't understand is like chris doesn't yell but he gives me faces like he has expressions and so when i am doing something and i look at him he don't have to yell at me he gives, he looks at me sometimes like, you know, he's mad or I'm crazy, etc. I mean, I know Chris's looks. Sometimes you don't have to yell at somebody to know how to read them. And he is real funny about stuff. He's real funny about order. He's real funny about, Chris is the kind of guy that he likes everything in its order and everything, but his, his, what it was is I was reaching in the glove box and I was reaching in. There's so much crap in his glove box that's years and years and years old. And I've been saying we need to empty it. And so when I went to grab the stuff to get it out of there, I grabbed it and I was going to, you know, I was going to put it in a bag. But he he was like, what are you doing? Well, you know, and I was like, but y'all, I know my husband. And I knew that it was aggravating the snot out of him for me to pick up that stuff because he was afraid I was going to throw something and pour it away. And then I was mad because I thought, well, why do you think I'm so nuts that I would throw something and pour it away? I mean, it's just your typical living with somebody's things. And I overreacted because I do have a problem the last three weeks. I have a lot of problems the last three weeks. And, uh, it's hard. It's just hard. And I don't know what else to tell y'all besides I've just had a hard time. And, uh, so we'll deal with it. And we love each other no matter what. And he loves me unconditionally. And I love him unconditionally. And we don't treat each other like that normally. I mean, you can ask anybody that's around us, my best friend or anybody, and they'll tell you. But if you ask somebody that's close to us the last three weeks, they'll tell you that I've been on edge. And I think part of it is probably the medication change, and part of it is just because I'm losing my mama. And I've always been right with my mama. I've always been a kid that was just there for everything. Every surgery, every wedding she she catered. It's just hard. And uh, that's it. I don't get a lot of support at home from teenagers. <laughs> you know, they're teenagers. I mean, they don't understand how I'm feeling and they don't they don't mourn because their grandmother's passing away because they don't they were never really close to my mama. She's never been close to any of her grandchildren. And so it's hard for them to relate or sympathize or give me any sort of, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> so I just don't have a lot of that. And, and that's just the way it is. I mean, I can't imagine what Chris would be like if his mother were passing away. Cause he, he's crazy about his mama and daddy. And regardless of if, and I remember my friend, Ellen, she lost her mother two or three years ago. And I can remember thinking, why is she so upset and why is she having such a hard time? I just don't think I'd be that way. But you don't know how you're going to be until it's you. 
and it's that way with everything whether it's cancer or sickness or uh death nobody knows until they're there what it's like but we have been through a lot we love each other very much we are very good christian people are we good the only thing good in me i will be honest and I'm one of those kind of people that if I'm not in my Bible every day, this is, I'm mean in general. I'm just one of those kind of people. Not everybody thinks they need God or need his word uh, to be good. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. I need it to be good. And I'm not in it as much as I should be. And I will get back in it. Today was so embarrassing. It was, it was humiliating as a wife. And, and not just because it was on video, but I felt that way before I even knew it posted. I knew that I had to get a grip on myself. So y'all continue to love us, hopefully watch us and understand that life is never just perfect. Okay. And it's not simple. And that's it. I mean, there could be a whole lot worse things going on. <laughs> we don't. We respect each other. We love each other. And we don't do anything crazy. God knows, you know, we don't drink alcohol. We don't do drugs. We don't run around on each other. I mean, not saying, you know, but I'm just saying nothing huge is going on. We're just, ha I'm having a hard time. And I want to do a cake video today. And I'm going to clean myself up. And I hope I can do it. Because I really want to make a cake for one of the girls that works with Mama. And uh, I've been promising her a red velvet cake, and I still haven't gotten it to her. Uh, so all these little things are on my mind, and it makes me feel, I don't know, I like to cook. When I get in my kitchen and I cook, I actually enjoy it. And so don't think I don't enjoy Colored Valley Cooks or Real Southern Woman. I enjoy talking to y'all. I enjoy uh, sharing with y'all. Um, but y'all just be patient with me lately. Most of them probably won't even watch this whole video <laughs> because it's so long, but I love my man. Hello. Bye, y'all.